Hi there, it's Keith from Site to Traffic. Just wanted to run through the buttons that are down the bottom of the Site Builder software uh, interface. And we've already done the Create Site, so we just want to go through these other couple. Uh, about is simply just telling you about the company. Uh, not a lot of information, but it's part and parcel of every piece of software, or it should be. Um, so you're done. Loading project. If you've already got an existing project that was made by the site to traffic software, whether it be version 1 or version 2, or anything in between, uh, all you do is hit load project. And it will actually go looking for the site, which in this case is here, which reflects the same one here and you just click on that and you're done. To save a project it's the same pro it's a reverse process and where you're saving the project is here. So you'll see that it goes to the same folder. These two uh, go to the same folder, they just have different functions. One is loading an existing project uh, into the software so you can make changes. The other one is saving a project that you may or may not have finished uh, that you can reload again later create site we've already been through and the other one is exit so it's just very simple just click that and the software closes the good thing about it is that we we've created it so that the last set of information that you had in the software will sit so if we exit out of that uh, all of this information will be retained and it will only be changed if we change it now that that information there to you don't need to get rid of these articles if you're building a new site all you have to do is browse to a brand new articles folder and what that will do is it will actually remove those and replace them with the new articles anyway so it's not actually a, a delete function it's a remove and replace okay so uh, and we'll see you on the next um, any of the next videos bye for now